The next matchup, it is going to be Giants at the Jaguars, 1 o'clock Sunday. Jacksonville's minus three at home, totals 42 and a half. Now, Jacksonville lost their last three straight, and they failed to cover the point spread in all of those losses. They're facing a 5-1 and one Giants team on the other side of things, who actually failed to cover the point spread only one time this year. And aside from allowing only 18 points a game, the Giants are also one of the better running football teams on the off uh, offensive side of the ball. They're averaging over 160 yards a game on the ground. When it comes to the number, the G-Men are 5-1 and one of the under for the entire season. Meanwhile, Jacksonville saw unders against the likes of Houston and Indianapolis. I'm going to lean toward the G-Men, plus three, keeping this one close, under 42 and a half. Next matchup, Buccaneers at the Panthers, 1 o'clock Eastern kickoff. Tampa Bay's minus 10.5 on the road, totals 41. Now, in my opinion, this number is just way too big. Not only are the Bucs on the road in a divisional game, they did fail to cover the point spread in their last four straight. A lot of factors, not a good covering team. Divisional contest on the road, just not playing very good football right now. Uh, they've also done very little to establish a proper run game this year. The Bucs are rushing for fewer yards per contest than any other club in the league. Now, they're facing Carolina defense, who's led by Shaq Thompson and Xavier Woods. These guys have combined for nearly 75 tackles between the two of them. When it comes to the total, four out of Carolina's last five fell under the line. Meanwhile, Tampa Bay's five and one of the under for the entire year themselves. I'm going to lean toward Carolina, plus 10 and a half, under 41. Next ball game, Lions at the Cowboys, 1 o'clock Eastern start time. Dallas is minus 7 at home, totals 48 and a half. Now, the Cowboys are playing some really tough defense this season. They're allowing just 16 points a game, and they rank in the top five in fewest pass yards allowed. They're facing a Detroit defense on the other side of things who really can't stop anything. These guys are giving up more yards a game on the ground than any other club in the NFL. And of course, with the two-headed monster of Zeke Elliott and Tony Pollard, well, uh, could be a really uh, big day for the Cowboys on the ground. Now, total-wise, Dallas saw two out of their last four get over the posted total. Meanwhile, on the other side of things, the Lions are 4-1 of the over in their last five themselves. I'm going to go ahead and lean toward Dallas, minus seven. Over 48 and a half. Next matchup, Browns at the Ravens, 1 o'clock Sunday. Baltimore is the six and a half point favorite at home. Totals 46 points. And I'll tell you what, for a team laying a touchdown in this spot here, I do really think the Ravens are going to have trouble on defense. Uh, they, haven't uh, they haven't been really that great this year defensively. They're allowing 24 points a game, and they're actually giving up more total yards a game than most clubs in the AFC right now. They're also facing a Cleveland offense who has the number one rushing attack in the game. Nick Chubb is averaging nearly 110, uh, 110 yards per contest on the ground, and he scored seven rushing touchdowns already. When it comes to the scoring, Cleveland's 5-1 of the over thus far in the season. Meanwhile, Baltimore saw overs against the likes of New England and Miami. I'm going to lean toward Cleveland, plus six and a half, over 46. Next ball game, it is going to be Falcons at the Bengals, one o'clock Eastern kickoff. Cincinnati's minus seven, totals 47. And even though the Bengals are throwing it well, the Falcons are the best covering team in professional football. These guys are 6-0 and against the number this year, and they're actually doing a uh, pretty terrific job of running the football. The Falcons are actually in the top three in the league right now in rush yards per game. Now they're facing a Cincy team on the other side of things who's actually done very little to establish uh, the run themselves. These guys are gaining only 89 yards a game on the ground. They also continue to do a poor job of protecting Joey B. You know, you got to protect your precious cargo because he's been sacked 21 times already this year. Now, when it comes to the total, since he's 5-1 of the under thus far in the season, meanwhile, on the other side of things, the Falcons saw their last three straight all stay under the total themselves. I'm going to go ahead and lean toward Atlanta plus 7, under 47. 
Next matchup, it is going to be Colts at the Titans, 1 o'clock East. Tennessee's minus three at Nissan Stadium, totals 42 and a half. And for a team being favored by a field goal here, I'll tell you what, the Titans have really struggled moving the sticks. They're in the bottom three in the league in total yards per game. And in addition to that, defensively, they're allowing more passing yards a game than any other team in the NFL. I know a lot of people uh, aren't thinking about that or don't really know that, but yeah, these guys have a terrible pass defense right now. Now they're facing an India team on the other side of things who loves to throw the football. Matt Ryan, second in the NFL in passing yards right now. Meanwhile, defensively, the Colts are in the top 10 in fewest yards allowed. When it comes to the total, Indy's 5-1 and one of the under thus far in the year. Meanwhile, the Titans saw their last two straight stay under the total. I'm going to lean toward Indy plus three, under 42 and a half. Next ball game, Packers at the Commanders, 1 o'clock Sunday in Landover. Now, Green Bay is the five and a half point favorite on the road here. Totals 41. And I'll tell you what, this Green Bay defense should be fairly dominant against Washington's backup. Uh, they're already uh, leading the entire league in pass defense, and I'm referring to, to the Packers. Very good pass defense, very tough to throw the ball against them. Uh, Rashawn Gary, he's also second in the league in sacks with six of them. Uh, Green Bay's taking on a commander's team on the other side of things who continues to find ways to lose, and they don't cover either. They're just 1-4 against the spread in their last five. Of course, Carson Wentz, he's uh, going to be out for a little bit over a month here. Uh, might be a good, for, a good thing for him. I don't know. But uh, they do have a tough time getting it into the end zone. They're uh, averaging just 17 points a game, and that was with uh, starting quarterback Carson Wentz. Now, total-wise, the Commanders saw their last four straight fall under the line. No real surprise there. Meanwhile, Green Bay is 4-2 to the under for the entire season themselves. I'm going to lean toward the Packers, minus 5.5, under 41. Next ball game, it is going to be Jets at the Broncos, 4.05 Eastern start time. Denver's minus 3, totals 40.5. Now, the Broncos have lost their last three straight. And they're scoring fewer points a game than any other club in the league. They're facing a Jets squad who's in the top 10 in the NFL in scoring. Meanwhile, defensively, they're giving up fewer yards a game than most clubs in the AFC. Now, right now, the Jets are on a three-game winning streak. And when it comes to the point spread, they covered the number in four out of their last five. Now, scoring-wise, the Jets saw overs against the likes of Miami, Pittsburgh, and Cleveland. They're actually 3-2 and two to the over in their last five. I'm going to lean toward the Jets, plus three, over 40 in a hook. Next ball game, te uh, Texans at the Raiders, 405 Eastern kickoff. Las Vegas is minus seven at home, totals 45. Now, the Raiders should be able to cover this number. Uh, they covered it in their last two straight. And in addition to that, they're having little issue getting on the scoreboard. Uh, they're actually in the top five in the AFC in total points per contest. They're facing a Houston defense on the other side of things who allows more yards per game than most clubs in the entire league. When it comes to offensive production, these guys are actually in the bottom three in total yards per contest. And when it comes to the number three out of Houston's last five did stay under the total. Uh, unders against the likes of Jacksonville, Denver, and Indianapolis. I'm going to lean toward the Raiders, minus seven, under 45. Next matchup, Chiefs at the Niners, 425 East. Kansas City's minus three and a half, totals 48. And even though the Chiefs are favored on the road here, I do have some concerns about their defense. These guys are allowing 25 points a game, and they're actually in the bottom 10 in the league in pass defense. When it comes to covering the point spread, KC failed to cover him four out of their last five. Now they're facing a San Francisco defense who allows fewer yards a game than any other team in the league. When it comes to giving up points, well, the Niners are allowing only 14 points per contest. Now, total-wise, San Fran's five and one of the under this year. Meanwhile, Kansas City saw three out of their last five fall under the line themselves. I'm going to lean toward the Niners plus three and a half, under 48. Next ball game, Seahawks at the Chargers, 425 Eastern start time. 
The LA Chargers are minus six and a half totals, 52. Now, I'll tell you what, the Chargers continue to sling the football. Justin Herbert's in the top five in total passing yards. He's going up against a porous Seattle defense who's allowing over 410 total yards per game. Now, the Seahawks also suffered losses this year to the likes of New Orleans, Atlanta, and San Francisco. When it comes to the number, three out of the Hawks' last four did get over the line. Well, the Chargers are three and one to the over in their last four themselves. I'm going to lean toward the Chargers, minus six and a half, over 52. Next ball game: Steelers at the Dolphins, 8.20 p.m. East. Miami's minus seven, totals 44 and a half. Now, I'll tell you what, I'm not sure Miami's playing good enough football right now to be laying this number here. Uh, I realize they're home right now. I realize the Steelers aren't that great. But um, this is a pretty good, uh, pretty big number for uh, a team who's not playing all that great. Uh, Miami lost their last three straight. They failed to cover in all three of those games. They also averaged just 16 points a game during that span. Now, they're facing a Steeler defense who's led by Minka Fitzpatrick, who has three interceptions already, including a pick six. Meanwhile, Miles Jack and Devin Bush, they've combined for nearly 100 tackles on the season already. When it comes to the total, the Steelers saw four out of their last six stay under the number. Meanwhile, Miami went uh, three and one to the under in their last four. I'm going to lead toward Pittsburgh, plus seven, under 44 and a half. And with that, guys, we're going to jump into our next and final matchup for the video. It is going to be Bears at the Patriots Monday Night Football. New England's minus seven, totals 39. Now, the Pats have been real good here against the number lately. They're 4-1 against the spread in their last five. Uh, covers against the likes of Cleveland, Green Bay, and Pittsburgh. They're also playing some pretty top-notch defense. They're allowing just 18 points a game. They're facing a Chicago offense on the other side who simply can't move the chains. The Bears are currently dead last in the league in passing. They're also averaging just 15 points per contest. And even though they have a pretty solid defense, the Bears are still allowing over 160 yards a game on the ground. Now, total-wise, Chicago's 4-2 to the under in their last six. Meanwhile, New England saw unders against the likes of Detroit, Pittsburgh, and Miami. I'm going to lean toward the Patriots, minus 7, under 39. With that, guys, we're going to jump into our quick pick recap. I like New Orleans, plus 1.5, under 45. Giants plus three, under 42 and a half. Carolina plus 10 and a half, under 41. Dallas minus seven, over 48 and a half. Cleveland plus six and a half, over 46. Atlanta plus seven, under 47. Indianapolis plus three, under 42 and a half. Green Bay Packers minus five and a half, under 41. New York Jets plus three, over 40 and a half. Las Vegas Raiders, minus seven, under 45. San Francisco, plus three and a half, under 48. LA Chargers, minus six and a half, over 52. Pittsburgh, plus seven, under 44 and a half. And with my next and final free pick for the video, I'm going to lean toward the Patriots, minus seven, under 39. 